because, you know, getting a proper partner or for that fa matter, just losing my virginity was tremendously important back then. Good morning. I have a confession to make. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling nervous if I want to seduce somebody. If you go out on a date, or rather if I go out, out on a date and the stakes are high, I want to impress my future partner, I'm feeling very nervous. If I'm out and about, let's say at a bar, even though I don't frequent them that much, and I see a person that I would like to approach with romantic interest, I'm feeling nervous. Extremely nervous, actually. And I notice that there are similarities between this and other instances when I feel nervous. If I am to play a competitive game, be it Counter-Strike, StarCraft, or basketball, and the stakes are high, I'm feeling nervous. If I'm gonna go to a job interview, which I hope I'll get so that I can be successful in my career, I'm feeling nervous. I guess you can already tell this video is gonna be about feeling nervous, primarily in the context of seduction, trying to impress a potential partner, but also in general. Also, I know that you guys are a lot less nervous than me, or not nervous at all. It is only me who gets nervous, not you. So I'm gonna talk about me, mostly. Forgive the use of other pronouns. This issue of me getting nervous was sent certainly at the center of my thoughts for a while, because not only do I get nervous when I try to meet a girl or, or manifest any romantic interest towards her, but also it is tremendously important. If I fail in seducing well, then I somehow fail at life because, you know, getting a proper partner or for that fa matter, just losing my virginity was tremendously important back then. That doesn't help with the nervousness either. <laughs> In my beginnings, trying to make any steps towards a romantic interest with a girl, I was tremendously shy and introverted. The effects of being nervous are quite unpleasant. Uh, the brain freezes, sense of humor flies out the window, uh, the interaction is strained and terrible, you emanate lack of self-confidence, or I do at least, I did, and you act like a magnet in reverse. The poor girl just needs to distance herself from you. And it was painful and frustrating. I can remember a number of times where the poor girl was interested in me and as long as we kept it friendly, as long as we kept it in the friend zone, so to speak, everything was fine. The moment my mind pondered that I should go towards romantic interests, I became a nervous mess. Not that I couldn't put words together, but it was certainly not myself. I still feel it when I talk about it. I wish I could say I completely got rid of nervousness, but I could share a few things that helped. First of all, whatever did help did not help just straight away. I did not find the proverbial magic wand here either to get me to be more confident when dating or approaching. But I did find it frustrating enough that it got me involved in the seduction scene, trying to learn how to lose this nervousness when, when approaching. So, what are the few things that helped with feeling nervous? Well, one of the things was the realization that it is okay. I'm still curious, of course, if there are people among you, dear listeners, who don't feel nervous at all, and what is your secret? My humble experience with other people suggests that everybody gets nervous when it gets to, uh, to high stakes and that perhaps the name of the game is not to escape being nervous but to be perhaps brave to do things despite them making you uncomfortable and with the 
realization that uh, they do. It, uh, you are, ner- I am nervous, and it is okay to be nervous. Second thing that helped is a psychological trick that I picked up from a book by Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And it goes like this. If I want to reduce my, uh, my nervousness, my emotional feeling, it doesn't much help to negotiate with my, with my mind or my heart rather, because my heart knows one thing. My heart knows you're getting into something that is high stakes that you may lose and you're afraid of losing that one thing. So I'm going to make you nervous. You may try to convince me that you're confident, but you're not. I mean, seriously, I know I'm your mind, your emotional mind that is. I know that you don't, don't have good results, good experience in these circumstances. So being nervous is the proper response. You can't fool me. But here's how I can negotiate with you. I can look at uh, a first date, for example, and imagine how that would go. I can imagine a realistic worst case scenario where I'm going to be nervous, we're going to be bored, she's not going to like me, we're never going to speak again. Realistically, worst case scenario could happen. I'm going to accept it as a possibility because, yes, it can happen that the worst comes to pass. And try to imagine what would I do in that case. And even though it won't, wouldn't be the most pleasant of circumstances, life will go on. I will not drop off the face of the earth. It will be okay. And if I do these steps and accept the possibility of a negative outcome, interestingly enough, I will find my nervousness lessening or dissipating. If I'm lucky, it's going to dissipate to a large extent because all of a sudden I have a psychological certainty. I know that there's a worst case scenario and I know that I have psychologically accepted it and everything else is a bonus, really, on top of the worst case scenario. So if I go into that situation, I no longer fear the worst. Uh, I simply accept it and treat everything else as a bonus. I wish that was a magic wand. It does help, but not completely. And finally, practice helps. It's uncomfortable doing job interviews. It's uncomfortable trying to do public speaking or speaking in a video. It is tremendously uncomfortable trying to seduce somebody. So getting out there again and again and practicing, approaching job interviews, seduction. All of these things help because you naturally get better at it and your emotional mind starts to change its tune. It's along the lines of, hey, now I know that you've been in this situation a number of times before and you've had decent results. So I won't make you as fearful and nervous as when you were completely unprepared. So in other words, to build self-confidence in a genuine fashion, Well, it's along the lines of actually positive results that you've actually worked for. They help. And they actually build the genuine self-confidence inside your emotional mind. That being said, nervousness doesn't completely go away. I still remember how nervous both me and my fiance felt when we met in person for the first time. Fortunately, we got past it, but it certainly played a role in our uh, first number of interactions. And even though some people there would claim that they don't get nervous, in reality, what I found is that getting nervous seems to be the norm, seems to be what most people do and what most people get. Here's hoping that at least some of these ideas struck a chord and here's hoping for as much of uh, as of a fear and nervousness free life and seduction experience as possible